Okay, welcome back. Uh, in this video, we're going to be doing some basic basic things. <laughs> wow, uh, off to a good start. Some basic things with Jamobi. Let's go ahead and start by opening that. And specifically what we'll be doing here is opening a file and um, some basic cleaning, adding descriptions and uh, levels to variables. And so we'll click these three bars here and go open. Um, I'm going to browse to make sure I'm in the right place. and real quick tangent here if you don't really 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 encourage you to organize your files and folders on whatever system you use um i i didn't do this until i was a grad student and i promise you i wish i had started sooner the the sooner you get good at organizing files and folders the better it will be over time and so you can see here i have an exercises folder and i have all of our exercises laid out nice clean and organized it makes it much better and easier to find things down the road and with stat stuff, even if you don't use this next semester, there will come a point in your career and whatever social science you're in, um, there will come a point that you will want this information again. Um, yeah, stats content, it's just always good to have on record where you can find it. Okay. Okay, that's the end of my soapbox. Thanks for attending my TED Talk. Okay, so we've got this open here. Um, so this, to give some context, this is hypothetical data that I, um, that I created. Um, yeah, just using spreadsheets and whatnot. Um, and so we can see we have three variables here. Let's go to variables. And to give us some context, oh, let me pull this open. To give this some context, um, this is hypothetical, like I said. So let's imagine that um, I'm conducting a survey um, or backing up. Let's say that I'm just extremely passionate about winter break and I want it to be much longer, right? And so I developed a survey and I just went around asking people um, what they do at UAF, and if they would like a longer winter break, or if they would like to leave it at its current length, right? And so maybe I'm just trying to do this to get some data to um, take into the administrator's office um, to say, look, we need a longer winter break. Here's everyone who agrees with me, right? And so we have these, uh, this table here describing uh, the variables and their levels. And so we can see for case, it's, uh, let's go to the data. Case is just a unique ID number for each person. Um, I don't want to take too long just describing this, but the importance here is that this is something I do with every data set I ever use. If it's not there already, I will create it um, before I do anything else because maybe not in this class, but in quote unquote real world data, there will come times when you have to delete like participants. Like if someone like started it and then didn't respond to anything, we would delete that from our analysis. And so it's always good to have a record of who you're deleting um, and just basically there's a consistent system in which you can identify the individual responses. Um, again, if you, if you don't believe me now, I promise you there will come a point um, in your statistical career in which you will thank me. Um, so I do this, and then we have UAF role, person's role at UAF, uh, student, staff, faculty, or other, and then their vote. So let's say they could vote yes or no, long for winter break is one, and two is leave winter break at its current length. And so currently, we just see the numbers in our spreadsheet, which makes sense, right? That's what, S or um, not SPSS, that's what Jamovi will use to conduct the analyses. But um, I'll go through how to do frequencies in, a, in another video. But let's say, for example, real quick, let's say I wanted to see how many people we have in these different roles. Um, and so we do this, and okay, we see one, two, three, four. Okay, so this is just isn't very easy to interpret um, right off the bat. But if you have something like this open next to it, you can kind of do that. Say, okay, one, there's 801. One is student, so we know there's 801 students. Two is staff, so on and so forth. So what we're going to do now is to basically make that process a little bit easier. And that is by, uh, by defining these levels in Jamovi. So let's go to variables. And if you, you can click edit here, and then this will pop down. Or you can double click. Um, I'm on a PC, so these things work for me, um, as far as I can tell. If they don't work for you, it might be because you're on a different system or something. Um, so we've got this variable here that we're editing now. So we're, let's edit case. First, let's add the description. I'm going to type it out because it was being weird when I copied and pasted earlier. Okay, so now we have our description. We'll, we'll talk about this more. Uh, later this semester, so let's not worry about measure type and data type yet. Um, you can click this arrow to go to the next variable. Say I'm just like cleaning this all at once. 
um, then bam, you can see we're at UAF roll. Um, or like I said, you can just kind of double click around, um, whatever you prefer. So this is person's role at UAF. Okay, and now we need to define our levels, which we can do here. And so you can see right now it's just numbers, which corresponds to what we saw in the data tab. But now let's just uh, highlight over it, and type in student, and then I'll hit enter. And now we can see a few things. For one, it's a student here now, but it still retains that one. And like I said, that's because it, this program still needs those numbers to conduct the analyses. This really just helps us when we're interpreting uh, the tables and output. And so you can see it automatically changed that, right? UAF role. Now we know student 801, right? So this helps us to um, interpret tables more accurately and quickly. So let's go ahead and click through the rest. And there we have it, right? So we can see we had 801 students, 119 staff, 170 faculty, six other. All right, so let's go ahead and do it with vote. Uh, break or not. Um, one is longer winter break. Two is move winter break at its current length. Okay, so we did that. We'll, we'll cover this again in, in another video, but let's just show it for the sake of example. Frequency tables. So we can see that 847 said longer winter break, 249 said leave it at its current length. It just makes it much more easy to interpret when we have those levels defined. All right, we'll stop there. We'll see you in the next one.